There's a cannabis cultivation program, a cannabis extraction program, and a cannabis retail program, because those are the most popular and in-demand sectors of the cannabis industry today. Max Simon, the CEO of Greenflower, says nationally, there's over 450,000 cannabis workers, saying that number is continuing to grow every year. When I told Luis Benitez, a TCC student, about these programs, he told me that though it's nice to have options, these are classes that should be taken with caution. Especially for students under the age of 25, maybe who haven't uh, matured their brain to, uh, to its full capacity. It's gonna be around people who use cannabis. If you're someone who's e easily influenced by peers or whatnot, uh, just know that this might be something that you'll get into yourself. He says he wouldn't enroll in this program, but he's interested in seeing what the job outcomes are for people who complete it. It's important to realize that the cannabis industry is a multi-billion dollar a year industry. Simon says there's a lot of opportunity for people who are skilled and talented to not just make good money, but also build a thriving business and a thriving career. It can be anywhere from a, a basically a standard agriculture salary up to multiple hundreds of thousands to be a, a lead cultivator or somebody in charge of cultivation management. Simon says that traditionally the cannabis industry pays about 11% higher than the median average salaries of other sectors. While the students in these programs are learning to work in the industry legally, there are many who do so illegally. By 2022, uh, we had nearly 10,000 licensed marijuana grows and probably 85% of those uh, we have since tied to criminal uh, activity and criminal organizations. 